All right, Station Nation, welcome to episode three. We're going to call this engine compartment throttle linkage. I'm not really sure. I'll figure it out when I post the video. But uh, you, you got the inside stuff done. So you, you have your response time with that upper linkage, making sure that when you press the foot pedal, stuff starts happening right away. And the bolt on the floor, you can basically put it down all the way to the floor. If you want to, that's totally up to you uh, to get more speed or more RPM. We're going to go through that in this video. Okay, so this is the cable that comes out of the cab and it actuates this bar. This bar does two things. It goes down to your engine throttle linkage and then it goes over to the transmission linkage. And we'll get to that in the next video, but we'll, we'll spend some time on this. So this cable right here is another braided cable. This can stretch over time, get worn out. So you can get some slack in this thing. Mine right now is set just right. There's just a little bit of slack. It's just just a little bit of no tension. But when I press on the foot pedal, this starts actuating right away and it starts actuating the uh, throttle linkage on the engine. Let me just move this uh, camera a little bit so you can get a better angle on that. So here is the throttle linkage. So that cable comes down to here and actuates this bar. And this bar is your throttle, it goes into your governor inside, the, inside your uh, injection, injection pump. Uh, and then as you go here, you get up to your idle. This is high idle or this is high speed. You know, as you go, you're going to get down where this bottoms out on that. So this pin right here is kind of your governor pin. This is where your RPM is going to stop. So all engines do is create RPM, create horsepower, really torque and horsepower through RPMs. So if you are going up a hill, let's say, and you have more load, or like me with my snowblower, when I turn the PTO on the snowblower on, I lose RPMs because I have more of a load on it. So when I put my snowblower on, I didn't have enough RPM in the engine to, to make that snowblower go, right? So I had to back this pin out in order for me to have the RPM that I needed to operate the snowblower and drive down the road. So I had to loosen up this nut and then back that, back this pin out. You're going to see probably a wire across there. You're going to see a wire across here. Um, and a lot of people think that that's like a tamper proof wire or whatever. And it kind of is. People know that you are in there doing something, but also um, it's there to prevent this screw from backing out. So this engine won't run away from you. So you would never want this engine to be at maximum RPM for for any great length of time because that's gonna create more heat. But if you wanted to get more RPM out of the engine itself, not necessarily horsepower, but RPM, which drives your, your hydraulic pump, which is a good thing, um, you're gonna to wanna to back this nut off, you're gonna back this screw out, and it doesn't matter almost how far you back that screw out because when you put on the foot control pedal, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna go as far as I can go, put the pedal to the floor, it actually doesn't get to that pin in my case right now, so it doesn't even get there. That's as much travel as I have with that floor-operated foot pedal. So when I was talking about the bolt on the floor, it doesn't matter how low to the floor you put it. That's just limiting you on how fast your machine can go. So in my opinion, you could drop it to the floor if you want to get everything you can out of this thing because there's a maximum travel, and that's right there. So what I have this set... I have this set up um, just a little bit more so then I can run my uh, hand throttle. So my, so this is the engine foot control throttle and then this is my hand throttle. So when I actuate the hand throttle, I, I can actually get this all the way up till it stops right there, till dead stop. And I could, with the hand throttle, I could get this all the way back, all the way back up into here. I could take this all the way out and get that all the way up. So when, when I'm going up a hill, I could do as much as I want. So if you wanna get a little bit more power or a little bit more RPM out of your engine, then you can back this up, and there you go. When you are when you are adjusting the screw back here, let me grab this real quick. When you're adjusting this screw to make sure that there's no slack in this line, or very little slack in this line, um, make sure that you're paying attention to the little um, low RPM screw in there. And I will show you a video of that just a sec. Let me get this camera organized again. Okay, now you can see how that low RPM stop right there like that. So if you adjust this cable that I was talking about, um, you're going to want to make sure that you're not putting 
too much RPMs into this thing. So what I what I do is I make sure that this hits that stop by just sliding some paper in here. So if that paper stops, then I know that that's all the way down to that stop. If I were to be you know, just a little bit up even, you can actually hear it in the engine and then you can slip some paper in here and you know that you, you are, oh, you know, I got too much RPM just to sit at idle. So you wanna make sure that that paper doesn't go through there when you're at, when you're at a stop, just like that. So basically, just like you did inside the cab, make sure there's not too much slack in this. Just enough so when this sits back into the neutral position or the or the no load position, basically, there's little slack or just very little slack in this, and and you can still you you don't slip paper through there. Make sure that that stop is tight. So somewhere in between there, it's just a, there's just a little looseness um, in there. So that's that's the way that I would set that up. Um, you can do what you want with that pin down there. If you want this to be backed out or all the way out, uh, that's totally up to you. Um, but that's where you're going to get some more engine RPM. Uh, and again, you only get so much. So when you push on the floor pedal, this is only going to actuate so much. That's, that's as far as it's going to get to, right? Um, and the rest of it, I can get out of it with the, with the hand throttle. So when I'm under a lot of load, going up a hill or something like that, I can bop up my hand throttle and I can give more RPM to the engine to operate the hydraulic pump more. So we're going to get into the hydraulic pump system and to the transmission in the next video. So I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, Station Nation. So I got to tell you, uh, before you go, I was snow blowing and I got bit by an awning right here. Check this out. I got some rust forming. I got to fix that up. But I was driving along, and I, I know where the engine is, or the machine is. I know where the machine is. I know it. And I was coming around a corner, and I saw this one awning, and I was fine. And I tried to sneak in with the snowblower just a little bit. And this other awning caught me just right there. Ah!